Hi, my name is uh, Bethany Marsh, and I'm from the University of Leeds. Yeah, my name is Karen Bauer, I'm also from the University of Leeds. I'm Sibylle Schwal, and I'm from the University of Cologne. I'm Ralf Schiffler, I'm at the University of Connecticut. So the, the, the main theme is uh, cluster algebras, um, and these were introduced by Feynman and Zelensky around 2001. So it's, it's a relatively new theory, um, and they, they seem to pick up on um, some kind of um, combinatorial idea. And this combinatorial idea appears in many different areas. And we're particularly interested as organizers in the relationship with the representation theory of finite dimensional algebras. Um, and cluster algebras has already had quite a big impact in, in that theory. Um, and the main aim of the program is to, is to develop new ideas in that direction. Yeah. Um, so since the cluster algebras have been defined and introduced around 20 years ago, there have been a lot of workshops and conferences. It's a very active field. And there have been programs like one at the MSRI around nine years ago. And then later with, at the Mitag Leffel Institute, a related program. And it seems a very good opportunity to meet like a bunch of people for three months to concentrate, look at current, um, what is it? current trends and then discuss new results and find, because this is a very interactive field, it has connections to a lot of other areas and so we try to have quite diverse participant body so that we can explore a lot of that. So this, um, this, this topic of cluster algebras was introduced by Sergei Fomin and Andrei Zelevinsky and um, exactly, pretty much exactly 20 years ago, there's a famous picture of them standing in front of a picture of Newton. Which was taken here exactly in the, in the lecture room at a workshop in 2001. And so now we are here exactly 20 years later and um, still trying to to, to well, to understand all the all the developments that are that are coming about continuously on that. Yes, and um, so cluster algebras have really had um, a great impact on representation theory and has led to the advancement and new development of many ideas that sort of originate in cluster algebras, but now have sort of found an interpretation or new application or new idea, related idea in representation theory and I think it's a great time to sort of collect all these different ideas and bring people together and push that forward. So one big challenge is that uh, many of the, par well, the participants come from very diverse areas um, and, and it will be a challenge to to establish some some platform where we can talk to each other so that we understand each other so there was for example we have uh, one person here who is in string theory and we were talking um, last week for hours <laughs> Uh, and they were coming up with new examples all the time and, and we were trying to, to understand it in the terms of representation theory, uh, their, their theoretical physics. Uh, and so, and, and there are other people from geometry, there are people from representation theory. And so we don't all have the same background and, and that can be one of the challenges we have to address. Yes, and in fact, that's why the uh, summer school is very important at, at the beginning of the program, because that, that will help us uh, establish a common language uh, so we can talk to each other. And so we, we've arranged for um, different topics to be covered in there, um, which will also, of course, help the, the early career researchers uh, to get into that. Um, I, I think there's many potential applications. In fact, um, some have already been found. So the idea of cluster algebras 
is a concept called mutation, which is an exchange or combinatorial operation, which seems to be quite natural and appears in other subjects or many other subjects. For example, uh, physics, geometry, number theory, knot theory. So this seems to be quite natural. And I think we're far from having found all applications. So I think there's great potential there. And I think this program might be a great place to find more applications and sort of see how things fit together. Yeah, and we have a lot of specialists here, for example, who understand um, cluster structures coming from surfaces. So we, we can see that we can use graphs on surfaces to understand, to define cluster structures and to get algebras and to understand representation theory. So that, to me, is one of the nice challenges and applications our program can offer. Uh, so we've, um, we feel that diversity is, is really important and we, right from the start we uh, tried to create a, a, a strategy to ensure that we have a wide diversity of, of participants, um, looking at uh, many, many intersecting factors. Yeah, and um, in particular there's a quite large number of early career researchers here and I think that's both great for the field because bringing young people into the field keeps the field active and going. And at the same time, it's a great opportunity for them to build a network that possibly can last a research life long. So the, the, the field itself is, is very diverse. So it's, it's actually quite hard to talk about applications for cluster algebras because the applications are actually built into the way the topic works. So, because the field itself is very diverse, we think it's, it really works well um, to ensure there's a, a diverse collection of participants um, in terms of in terms of the topic, there's mathematics and physics, but also in terms of the uh, uh, the, the other characteristics. Yeah. So. I mean, it was our purpose to invite a lot of different areas and, for example, talking to the mathematical physicists, um, I see, you know, they have some graphs which come from string theory and we interpret, we see them as curves and have representation theory and then we want to discuss orbit structures or see how this leads to matrix factorizations and so that's very unexpected to me and it's a great discussion. Yeah, and I also think just because this, this area is, is so much interrelated, I mean, this, the cluster art is so much related to so many other fields that as researchers we are always pushed into some new area that we don't really understand. So it is important that we, that we meet with experts in that area and, and then discuss with them to, to build groups so that we can work from both ends on, this, on these problems.